My first job was office temporaries, right. where you could garner ten dollars a day by typing all day. And one of the best courses I had in high school was typing. It saved me from total poverty. Wretched job typing all day, but better than not eating. Uh, but then I, um, yeah, the copy boy at time thing came along because an a f actor friend said, you know, you ought to get this because it's not nine to five. You can be nine to five Monday, seven to 11 on Tuesday, three to five on Wednesday, and so actors could make rounds and adjust their schedules and stuff like that. Uh, so that was the perfect job for an alleged actor. I had a kind of uh, unrealistic experience too. I got, my, I got the first job I ever tried for in acting. This doesn't happen. Right. I went out to the, an agent said, um, you can go to the Signal Corps, they're going to make a movie, and they want to, can you, it says on your resume you know German, and I said, yeah. Um, and I got a job as a wounded German soldier in the Signal Corps movie. And then I got another one in a movie called Sylvanus Thayer about the man who was found at West Point. And I thought, this is, easy. Everybody said show business is hard. You go get a job, you ask to check for a job and they give it to you. Fifty dollars a day tw for two days shooting. I thought I'm on my way. I didn't work for three more years. <laughs> I got to be an extra on Bilko. That was thrilling. It really was. Phil Silveris because I'd seen him in Top Banana twice on tour. Uh, he was on tour and um, I was an extra on The Last Playhouse 90 ever, done live from New York with James Mason, Trevor Howard, and Richard Basehart called The Hiding Place, written by Robert Shaw, the actor. Um, that's archival, isn't it? And uh, other things, I keep meaning to go to the archives and see if I can see myself again on The Killers, on um, The Hiding Place, on Bilko on the Tao Mystery Hour, or Hour of Mystery. These are all things I was a prominent extra on.